I'm not super engaged in social media. I don't know if YouTube counts, but if it does, then I post here more than I do anywhere else. I have a Facebook I never go on. I have an Instagram that I post when the mood strikes. Um, but lately I've been really into Twitter. I don't tweet per se, but I follow a lot of different creatives, modern day philosophers, and just kind of anyone whose words I find inspiring. And the other day I came across a tweet by Ali Abdal and it said, in one year's time, what will you regret not starting today? And I read that and I thought, wow, how times have changed because if I would have read that two years ago or three years ago, maybe even four or five years ago, my response immediately would have been starting a YouTube channel. I obviously no longer have that regret, but what about now? What will I regret in one year's time not starting today? The passable life. <laughs> Yeah, sung it. The number one regret of the dying is, I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. But what about those not facing immediate death? There was a study done in 2018 by two gentlemen, I'll link it down below because I'll probably butcher their names if I try to say it, but in that study they found the regrets were similar. Most people are haunted constantly about regrets of not doing things like pursuing their goals, their dreams, their aspirations, not by necessarily things like fulfilling their duties and obligations. I decided to read through all of the responses to Ali's tweet and they were things like journaling, writing a book, starting a YouTube channel, a blog or a podcast, a workout regimen, waking up early, losing weight and going back to school. The list went on and on, but as you can see, none of them consisted of things like becoming a CEO or work more hours. Now that I no longer have the regret of not starting a YouTube channel, I gave it some thought and I came up with two things I wanna share with you that in one year's time I will regret if I don't start today or at least soon. The first one is not completing the artist's way. I mentioned in one of my earlier videos how much the first chapter has impacted my life and I can imagine that finishing the book would probably give me some benefit. But this isn't just about reading a book. I can finish it in a weekend. The book is structured in a way that it's a 12 week journey. And what you do is read the chapter at the beginning of the week and then it gives you a bunch of tasks and things you're supposed to complete throughout the week, taking about an hour a day and then at the end of the week, you take a two hour time block to do something they call an artist date. Now, this is a lot of time to invest for me. When I look at my time available and different priorities, it's just something that hasn't fit in well. I have a structured morning routine that I don't wanna change and can't squeeze an hour in there. I work until five o'clock, a full-time job. After five, I have the normal family obligations like helping the kiddo with schoolwork if he needs it, walking the dogs, cooking dinner. And by the time I'm done with all of that, I've got maybe an hour and a half of time. And sometimes when I'm done with that, I don't wanna do anything. And then other times I do, I'm pursuing this passion project. So it's been hard for me to try to figure out how I would put this into my schedule. I do plan to try to move stuff around and figure things out. And I'm really hoping to complete this book by the end of this year, because I do know that I will regret it if I don't. The second thing on my list is to take this channel more seriously. Now, I don't mean that I'm gonna stop having fun with it or acting a fool. I love doing my skits and hope to come up with more. But what I mean by that is to try to see if I can reach more people. I keep referring to this as a hobby and it is a hobby, one dear to my heart. But at the same time, like I mentioned in the video I did with my vision board, I do wanna use it to try to help someone. I wanna impact someone's life. I want them to see that you can make changes even later in life. I want them to see that taking risks is a good thing and going out there and trying scary things and failing better and all that kind of good stuff. But I still have been a little bit reserved when it comes to trying to get my videos in front of more people. I mentioned in a previous video that I let my family and close friends know about the channel via a blog post, but those are the only people that read my blog. So it wasn't really a huge wave of people that were finding out. It was still very scary for me because I wasn't sure what my family and friends would think, but I've gotten past that hump now. And there's one other space where I really wanted to kind of share it, but I've been too afraid to do it because of that fear of what other people will think of you. And that's posting about the channel to Instagram. 
I have quite a few more connections on Instagram than I do anywhere else. A lot of that stems from old events and things that I used to do and a lot of old coworkers. And I even have some current coworkers that follow me on Instagram. And that's part of what makes me hesitate. It's one of those things where I'm kind of like, oh God, am I gonna walk into a meeting and somebody be like, I watched your latest video. <laughs> How am I gonna feel about that? I don't know, I'm not sure yet, but that's not what we do on this channel. We face our fears, or we try damn hard to at least, and try to fail better. So I am going to post to Instagram right now. I've already kind of come up with, I'm gonna, with what I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna post, and I'm gonna let everybody else that I could possibly know, know about this channel, and see what's gonna happen with it. Unlike the artist way, this is just going to take a couple minutes, um, but a few minutes of courage. So let's go ahead and get this post done and we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I probably won't go on Instagram for the rest of the day, but at least I won't have to live in regret. I know for a fact that some of you watching this video have thought about making your own channel or making big career moves and things like that. So I'll pose the question to you. In one year's time, what will you regret not having started today? And then I would set a follow-up question to that. What are you waiting for? The video is just about over. You have my permission. You can absolutely go. I need one more minute of your time. And I want to take that one minute to say thank you because having this channel, having this outlet to express myself and put myself out there has forced me to take more risks and I feel better about it. I'm, I'm excited to try to fail better. I'm excited to try to put myself out there and hopefully show you that you can too. So thank you so much. And as always, thank you so much for watching today and I will see you on the next one. Bye. still here? The video's over. You're procrastinating. Go, oh, start the thing. You know what I'm talking about. Don't live in regret. Ugh.